What's up everybody? This is Reed from Trivia Maker and today I'm going to show you how to make a wheel style trivia game here in TriviaMaker.com. So let's check this out. First thing we got to do is go to the website. We'll go to TriviaMaker.com and so here we see kind of just the landing page. We want to go is Launch Trivia Maker. And then from here, we can either click on create game or we can click on create a new quiz. So let's just click right here, create new quiz. And then for this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the wheel style right there. So we have different themes we can choose from. We have the standard, we have like a green theme, a blue theme, or the default theme. So we're just going to go with the default for this one. And then we can change it later. We can change the colors if we'd like to. So we'll just go ahead and we will call this. We'll give it a name, which is wheel one. And then we have a place to give a description. And this is just a simple place to put some notes about what's in it, what it's about, kind of remind you, or to tell other people what your game is about. And then you have these two options right here, downloadable and discoverable. And let me just explain what these are. They're set to off by default, but what these do is these enter your game into the public list of games that makes them discoverable. So if you click discoverable right there, this game will now be featured in our public list of games so that people could come across it and search it and they can find and they can see your game. Um, then on top of that, if you want to make it downloadable, what that means is that once people are seeing your game, whether it's through a link that you shared or them finding it inside of the list, the public list, or them, whether it's through a link that you shared or them seeing it in the public list, if this downloadable thing is checked right there, then what that means is that now they can take your game and they can essentially copy it to their own set of games. And it's a copy, meaning that you change yours and it's not gonna change theirs after that. And if they change the copy, it won't change yours. So it's basically using your game as a downloadable template for them to go make their own game and make their own changes. And so if you want it to be downloadable, you click that. But for this, we're gonna have them both be turned off for right now. So then we'll go ahead and go to next. Okay, so here we have our preview screen and our edit screen. This is where we can add in our own content and change the style and look of it if we want to. So um, just going through what you're seeing here, this is the title. You have the options to play it right here, to share it. You also have these options over here, which is to add it to a collection. You could share the game that way. You could clone and basically make a duplicate of your game so you could change a few things about it, but keep the other one the same. And then you could delete your game there as well. Um, and then these are the same toggles that we talked about on the last screen. So let's go ahead and let's work on our content. So the first thing we wanna do is there's already a question there. So let's click on this button right here. So then we enter a question, but this is almost more like a category. So I'm gonna say, lyrics so it's our category um, and then for the answer i'm just going to go with a classic i'm going to say country roads take me home and so you see how it's saying answer has been updated please refresh basically what it's saying is you need to now move these letters onto the board so i have a couple options i can manually arrange where i can just grab these and start to throw them in there which might be fun if you wanted to make some that were kind of up and some were down and some were sideways like some people like to do. Um, or if I hit auto arrange right there, then it's gonna arrange it for me. So I'm gonna go with the auto arrange. It's nice and clean like that. Then I'm gonna go save question. Okay, so that's our first question. Let's add in one more question and we'll just do something like a uh, movie title, right? Movie title. And we'll go with the classic Shawshank redemption right and we'll just put it right there um so we'll save that question so now we have basically like two two rounds two puzzles two things to solve um you go here and you can customize it and this is really cool it's, it goes beyond just changing the colors which we've gone through in other videos how to customize the look and color of it you can change that logo so you can put in whatever logo you would want there um, by deleting it and then entering the other one same with the background and the theme song delete the one that's there and then add in the new one but i'm going to leave those the same just for now there's other videos on how to customize that um, and then you have your wheel settings right here and so you can move things around on the board you know you can drag them to different locations you can change the actual color so this is a 700 you can say i don't want it to be black i want it to be you know i want my i want my 700 to be bright pink like that so you click save you click preview right there and you're going to see that that turned from black to pink right there and so that's how you customize your wheel um, and you go ahead and we'll click save on that just to make sure that our settings save i always like to click save as many times as possible um, just because i hate doing a bunch of work and then finding out that it didn't save so i don't know 
I'm the one that created this program and I'm just like, I save all the time. So, um, so here we have number of teams. And so you can right now under beta go up to 50 teams and we'll be adding even more than that later. And if you were like, man, I want to put in all these teams, but that's a lot to type in there. You also have this download a CSV template where you can actually put the names in a CSV file, like an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and then you can upload that CSV file, but you want to make sure you use our template so that all the fields populate correctly. Um, so let's just go for our game. We'll just go with three. That's enough right there. You can change the team names if you want to, but these are fine. So we'll go ahead and we'll click save on the teams. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to actually play the game. So I'm going to click this and it's going to give us three options of how we would present this. And so the first one is a base, which is basically meaning um, we're all seeing the same thing. It's a mirrored view. What we're seeing on our screen is what everybody else is seeing. The second option is using a controller and a presenter, which is where you want two devices. Maybe one is an iPad and one's your computer, or it's two separate windows or two displays on a computer. Basically, when you use controller and presenter, you as the host have one controller where you can see all the answers and where all the letters are and what the answers are, um, but the people in the audience that are seeing the screen that you're sharing or any of these, they're not seeing it. They're only seeing what you want them to see. And then the third one is casting to a TV app. So something like Apple TV, Amazon Fire, or Fire Cube, Fire Stick, or Android TV. Um, and that would work like that. But for this, we're just going to go basic. Um, the wheel actually works really well in basic, which is really nice. So here we go. We got a little bit of theme song. I can turn that off right here if I want to. If I wanted to turn it back on, I go right here to the theme, or I turn it off again. You can also play around with these buttons where you can do like an applause, you know, or you can do like the sad, if somebody gives a great answer, but it's not quite there, or say they're going for the wheel and they almost solve it, but they mispronounce it. It's like, you know, sad. Or you can throw them a nice little smiley face if they do something great. And we're also going to add a bunch more emojis there coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. So we'll go ahead right now and we will launch round one. So the way that you basically control this is going to give you your category. And we'll also list that category down here. And then basically what you do is you decide who is on what team, whether you're playing by teams or if you're playing with like a bunch of people, then what you do, you just decide, okay, we're going to go with team one first. All right, team one. So your turn. We'll click this next turn. We say, okay, it's team one. We're going to go for you. And then they have to decide, do they want to spin? Do they want to buy a vowel, which you can only buy a vowel if you have 250 extra dollars, um, or do they want to solve the puzzle? So right now we'll go spin. And so then this just spins around like this. It's going to land on a dollar amount. And then whatever dollar amount it lands on, however many letters they reveal in this guess, they get multiple of that number. So for instance, if they click an M and there's an M uh, and they got a 400, then if there's three M's, then they're going to get $1,200 for this spin right there. So um, let me show you. We rolled a 400 and I'm going to guess the letter C. And it's going to come up and say, yes, there's one C. And then player one, team one, gets $400. Now you can either say, okay, team one, you get to keep going because you got it right. Or we're going to go let somebody else go. And if we want to let somebody else go, then I just close this and go to next turn. And then I would select team two. And so that's if you don't want to play like winner goes on, you just want to let people keep guessing. So now we'll go team two. Now your turn to guess. And uh, we'll see what they roll. We'll see what they spin. And they got a 400 as well. All right. Um, so for them, we'll go with an N, right? One N. So team two, they should just get like that. So let's say you want to let them go again. You say, hey, you got the right. Um, you can go again. And oh, they have enough money. Let's go ahead and we'll buy a vowel this time. Um, so what vowel do you guys want to buy? And team two says, we want to buy the O. It's like, all right, there you go. There's three O's. And so they're, they're their, their dollar amount is going to go down by 250, so you're going to see it go down there to 150, uh, but there was three letters that were revealed, and so they can go again, and we'll say spin, and they got, oh no, they got bankrupt, right? So that means that all that money that Team 2 had, they are now out. So now we'll say, now since you got bankrupt, Team 3, it's your turn. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll spin the wheel again. And those penalties, like bankrupt, lose a turn, you can take those out if you want to. Um, whew, that was close. They almost got it. So these guys, team three, got a 100. And so we'll guess a T with them. So 
let's say the guess one more time. All right, so team three spins again, and this time they're going to guess a P. And we see there was no P, and so you go to the next person. So let's go back to team one. We say, okay, team one, let's go ahead. They want to spin, and so we're going through like this. And we'll see what they get. All right, they ended up on the 300. And so team one shouts out, and they say, we're going to guess the letter R. Right, so they say, all right, there's two R's and the board reveals them. And they, as soon as they see this, they're like, that's it, I know what this is. And so you say, they say that they wanna solve the puzzle. So all you do is you go to solve puzzle and then you come here and then you say, all right, team one, solve the puzzle. And then they're gonna tell you, they're gonna say, country roads, take me home. And you say, that's correct. And if they had got it wrong, you would put incorrect. But since it's correct, it's now going to reveal the board because they got it right. So we'll, we'll hit it and so watch what it does. See right there? Country roads take me home, right? So then it's gonna say that, congratulations, you have won the round with $1,000, right? So some people are confused because they get to the end of this round and then they look and they see, wait a second, why did they get a thousand, but these guys had scored some points and these guys had scored some points, so why are those points gone? The way that the scoring is set up in this wheel mode is that the only people who get points from the round are the ones who solve the puzzle. So it could be that team two had, you know, 5,000 points from collecting all these letters, but if they don't solve the puzzle, let's say team three comes in and they only have $100 in the bank and they solve the puzzle, team three gets 100, whereas team one and team two get nothing. And so um, that's the way that this works. You have to solve the puzzle in order to get your points carried into the overall score. And so, um, Again, you can adjust the scores if you want to. You know, you can do things like that, but um, that is the way that the scoring works. And so we go back here, we come to the very end and we can just click this trophy and we say, all right, congratulations, team one, you won with a thousand points. So that's it guys. That is how you create a wheel style game on TriviaMaker.com. Hope you guys like it. And if you have any other questions, send us an email at support at TriviaMaker.com or check out the tutorial section on our website. Thanks a lot.